Hi everyone, my name is Marcus and you're watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you might be aware that I used to run the Illumagic Blaze X. And um, while that's a great light, I did have some issues with it and it didn't represent quite what I wanted from a light. There are big changes coming to the Blaze and I still have mine because I'm excited to see what they bring to the market and in terms of upgrades, I think there's a fair few that they can make. I'll be certainly revisiting the Blaze in the future and will take you on that journey at the time. However, I'm always looking for the next thing and I'm a bit of a gear junkie. So when I saw the Kessel A360X and learned a bit about it, I knew I had to try them out. So many things about the design decisions of this light just made sense to me. So I really wanted to put it to the test. As you can see, I'm currently running two A360Xs. The one on the right hand side has the narrow beam reflector and the other one is running standard. I've had these on my tank now for three months and I'm super excited to share my experience so far. But first, let's take a step back and go through some of the features, pros and cons of the Kessel A360X. We'll do a round robin of pros and cons. First off, the quality. This feels like an Apple product. Everything is designed to the smallest detail. It looks, it feels, it oozes pr premium design. You can just tell that every part of it is custom. Things like the use of USB-C ports for the K-Link connectivity, the chamfer on the edges of the mounting holes, the custom grill design and venting for the cooling solution, even the accessories like the mounting arm that I've got on my tank and the narrow beam reflector all show attention to detail and quality. So maximum points there. However, as with all things, there are some cons to this as well. Everything is an optional accessory for more money. Uh, so that's, you need to buy the controller separately, you need to buy the cable separately, you need to buy the mounting arm separately. Uh, although that's not unique to Kessel, most lights don't come with the mounting solution. It is understandable that the controller is a separate purchase because if you're buying multiple lights, you don't want multiple controllers. However, I think they probably should have included the K-Link cables with the lights and they are quite expensive for what they are. The next category is shimmer and color representation of the coral. And hands down, it's the best I've ever seen. It almost feels like cheating putting some corals under these lights. It brings out the colors that you didn't even know were there. The shimmer is intense. Uh, at first you may think it's too intense, but for me, after an hour or two, you acclimate to your own lights. Uh, and at this point, I wondered how I could ever possibly have lived without them. Uh, and when I see tanks without Kessel lights, without that Kessel shimmer, they just feel dull to me uh, and lifeless. But a con is also that the shimmer is intense. Uh, some people may not find it too much, um, but some people may look for ways to mute it. T5s do a good job of muting it slightly. Uh, as you can see, I'm running my T5 hybrid bar still uh, on the tank. And the other way to mute the shimmer is to run the Kessel in a whiter mode. I found the wider spectrum setting, the whiter spectrum settings do mute the shimmer a little bit. However, if you want blue light with less shimmer, Kessel may not be the light for you. Next category, noise. They're silent. I run mine at max intensity for a good portion of my photo period and I've never heard the fan. In order to actually check that the fan works, I had to really put my ear up to the light after they've been running at max intensity for a while and it is working, it is spinning, it's just really, really quiet. Which I guess is a good upgrade for me because it was one of my complaints about the Blaze was that it, the fans could get a bit noisy. Next category, setting the lights up. If you're using a simple hanging setup or retrofitting them into an existing hood or mounting solution, you will most likely find the setup of these Kessels extremely easy. However, if you're using the Kessel mounting arms like I am, be prepared to go through a pretty tedious process of threading the wires through the mounting arms. This process will take longer than you think because you'll probably do it wrong the first time. You'll not have the wire oriented round the right way for the exact connector that you want. One end of the wire has got a 90 degree connector, the other has a straight connector. So um, depending on your use case, you're gonna want it mounted in a specific way. It took me about three or four attempts, I'm ashamed to say, to actually get it exactly how I wanted it. 
everything is designed down to the tiniest little tolerance for form and for that sleek look. However, the flip side of that means that you really need to pay attention to the order that you thread the cables through and in some cases you might need to use string to pull the cables through the mounting arms as it's quite a tight fit. However, it is worth the effort that you put in to get that end result of a super sleek, tidy cable management job. So. If you're going to spend this much on lights and you want to make the most of that ultra premium aesthetic that comes with the Kessel lights, put the effort in and mount them properly. Just be prepared to set aside the, uh, the time to do so properly. Um, don't have an expectation of a two minute setup time. Next category is programmability. So the pro here is that the default program is awesome. The, uh, the spectrum is spot on, it will suit most tanks and it really can't be messed up or screwed up in any way due to the feature that Kessel calls Kessel Logic. Basically, Kessel has a built-in best spectrum, which only allows for a certain amount of tuning and customization. You can adjust the intensity from zero to 100, so that's 100 adjustment points, uh, and you can adjust the color from zero being most blue to 100 being most white. Within those ranges of those two settings, Kessel Logic does all of the micro adjustment of individual LEDs and individual colors so that you're left with a spectrum that at the end of the day will still grow coral really well. There's no way to use the Kessel lights to harm your coral. At least that's the idea with Kessel Logic. And it's a really great principle, it's a really great philosophy uh, and something that I really like about the Kessel lights. But this biggest strength can also be seen as a weakness. If you want to play mad scientist, you can't tune every single little LED and every single little color spectrum within the Kessels. They say that you shouldn't want to do this because you're going to be going outside of a spectrum that through their testing is the best. However, that won't suit all people. The con with the programming is that out of the box, the Kessel lights don't support scheduling ramping up or ramping down. For that, you need to buy the Kessel Logic controller and it's a separate purchase. I would never run the Kessels without the controller, but I'm sure there are some people who might spend all of their money just getting the Kessel lights and then can't afford the controller or want to buy it separately at a future date. So you're going to have to revert to a me mechanical timer on a switch um, in the meantime. It would be really great to see Kessel release uh, an app for the phone and make use of the wireless connectivity of the lights through a dongle solution which they say they're going to do in the future and that will be a much more affordable way to bring all of the capability of the controller without having to pay for the controller. On the controller itself, the pros are that it's pretty easy to use. The default schedules and programs are baked in and it's backwards compatible with older models of Kessels. The moonlight cycle mode which I've been running is great and works straight away out of the box. You don't need to worry about any fine tuning of that. Uh, it's said that these modes can help prevent fish from jumping at night and possibly also encourage better coral metabol metabolic cycles, although uh, I'm not sure that's been well tested and proven within the industry. But it certainly hasn't been harming my tank and I haven't had any fish jump, so I'm going to continue running it. Anecdotally, I do like being able to come down late at night with the moonlight on and see into my tank with that really dim moonlight, that eerie blue glow to see um, what the tank is doing at night and you're not disturbing anything by doing so. Without a moonlight mode you're probably pulling out a flashlight or using your phone's light and that's a pretty aggressive way of looking into the tank at night and will probably scare or freak out some of the fish and coral. Aside from the moonlight mode there's also an acclimation mode and the firmware upgrade on the controller is really easy to do. You just plug the controller into your computer using the included cable which is nice to see with the controller and uh, run the upgrade program which you download from Kessel. It's like two clicks and it's done. The con would be that some of the advanced spectrum modification is locked behind the controller. So the Kessel A360X does feature a UV red and green channel which can be independently programmed only if you have the, the controller. If you don't have the controller these spectrums and light channels are essentially locked out. And that moves us on to the category of advanced spectrum controls. The pros are that by boosting the UV channel specifically, the color representation on your corals goes from being say a 9 out of 10 to being 11 out of 10. It has to be seen to believe. Like, 
I played around with the green and the red channels. I played around with the color temperature of the Kessel from zero to 100 and intensities from zero to 100 in every combination. But I found that the standard program and adding the UV spectrum is an amazing look for your tank and to my eyes is the best that I've ever seen. When it comes to the green and the red channels, I played around with those two, but I didn't really find them to add much value. Uh, I run them on extremely low settings for a portion of my day and I mean one to five out of an intensity of 100. That brings me to a con. Uh, why did Kessel not expand their Kessel logic programming and guidance to incorporate these new channels? There's no guidance on them and there really should be. Uh, it, it's the biggest strength of the Kessel lights but they've chosen to omit it from these new channels. Whether that's something they're going to add in the future or not, I don't know but it would be really good to see some guidance on these new channels in the, in the Kessel A360Xs. We all know that UV does fall within the photosynthetic range of coral and has a positive effect on coral coloration and growth within certain ranges. And one can only assume that the range that is being produced out of the Kessel A360X can deliver these results and falls within this safe tolerance. But it would be helpful for Kessel to better support this. They may well do this in the future, um, with a firmware upgrade, but for now it's a bit of an unknown. The same goes for the red and green channels, except it's pretty well known that they fall outside of the coral's photosynthetic range. So excessive use of these colors can have an undesirable effect like promoting algae growth or potentially changing your coral's coloration in ways that you won't necessarily want. Um, I would assume that they're only there for customizing the color rendition and uh, visualization of the tank for our eyes and not for the benefit of the coral. So my suggestion would be to use them with extreme caution and at the very very low end if you really want to tailor the look of the color coming out of the Kessels. But uh, unless Kessel provides guidance otherwise I wouldn't be using them at high settings in an attempt to get further growth out of your coral or anything like that unless you really want to be a trailblazer. So now here we are finally at the most important part. What effect has the Kessel A360X had on my tank over the last three months in terms of coral growth, health and coloration and what has my acclimation experience been like? To put it simply, it's been amazing. Truly, it's been better than I expected. I was expecting corals in my tank to go through a period of acclimation where they might brown out, they might lose colour, stop growing or otherwise sulk. But this was just simply not the case. Literally nothing in my tank has had an adverse reaction to changing to the Kessels. In fact, within the first seven days, my alkalinity and con calcium consumption increased by 20%. And by the end of the first month, it had increased by 35%. Now, three months in, my consumption is a whopping 60% higher than where it was 90 days ago. This consumption is almost entirely from the existing corals, as I've only really added a few frags in the last 90 days. The overall stocking of my tank hasn't changed in any significant way. As you know, I dose Kalkwasser and have gone from 2 litres a day to 3.2 litres a day. That's a 60% increase and if it weren't for us being in winter at the moment, I wouldn't have been able to keep up with that as my tank wouldn't be evaporating enough water per day to be able to dose 3.2 litres. I already have in motion getting a calcium reactor upgrade and that can't come soon enough. So for growth, I think the direct measurement of the uptake of elements and the, amount of, and the amount required to be dosed to maintain the same levels for me, that's 7 dKH and 415 parts per million calcium, is a pretty solid proof of increased growth. I've had to frag and reposition a number of my SPS in the tank to prevent coral warfare uh, as they've been growing into each other. Now for colour. Beyond what I talked about before, which is how well the corals look under the lights, there's the actual colour pigmentation and development of the corals themselves. Here too, I've seen some drastic changes. My strawberry shortcake's pink has gone from dull muted pink to a neon glowing pink. Uh, and the base has gotten really bright green, almost verging on yellow. This pink digi frag that came to me totally bleached is getting pink again. This rick that I have near the back of my tank was lime green and is now getting bright yellow. And this wild acro started out as a deep purple and now has teal green parts and a metallic fleck through it. It has bright pink polyps and has gone from being a pretty mediocre coral to a real showstopper in my tank. 
As I said before, I have added some new frags and so I'm really looking forward to seeing how some of these blue acros go under the Kessels. I know sometimes blue can be a challenging colour to keep um, really bright and vibrant within SPS tanks, so I'm looking forward to seeing how they go. So what are my conclusions about the Kessel A360X after 90 days? Well, it should be pretty obvious that I'm a fan and I'm loving it. My tank has never had better growth, it's never had better coloration, and I think it's never looked better. However, I do want to temper my excitement with the following. I've only run these lights for three months. They've only been on the market for about five months. So in terms of reviews and impressions for the long term, they just don't exist yet. Even this review, which is bang on the 90 day mark of usage, is what I would consider to be the absolute bare minimum for a proper review on aquarium lights. I would caution anyone against being a trailblazer with new lighting on the market unless you know what you're getting into and that's part of what you want to get out of the hobby. With the Illumagic Blaze X that I reviewed, I waited a full year to drop my review. I've been having such a good experience and such good results with the Kessel that I couldn't help myself and I had to make this video, but I promise to revisit them again for a longer term review where the true impact on corals over a decent period of time can be properly evaluated. But for now, with the results I've been having, all signs are looking really positive and I'm really excited to see where these Kessels will take my tank. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching guys. Please remember to like and subscribe. My name is Marcus. Bye for now.